You were in the Capitol on January 6th, and you went live on IG during the insurrection, and you actually had to take down your post because the military said that MAGA watchers were hunting down Democrats. Um, This was clearly white supremacist terrorism. That's right. And what can you share about that day with us? Well, you know, people ask me, was I afraid? And I think I was too angry to be afraid. Mm, The shock. I I mean, I was just furious because you just imagine for one second if those had been black folks. Right. And then, you know, when I go to the Capitol, people were saying to me, my family especially was, are you going to go to work on January 6th? You know, all that stuff is going to happen. I was like, yeah, I'm in the safest place in the country. I'll be in the Capitol. I just won't be on the streets. Because it was interesting talking to black folks in D.C. before January 6th. And people were like, mm, not a day to be roaming around. Right, right. <laughs> because we viewed it as a white supremacist rally. And uh, uh, but it turns out that, you know, I was actually in the most unsafe place. And the other thing that made me mad was I had just missed them by 10 minutes. If I had left because I left the the gallery uh, to do a Zoom call, if Mm -hmm. I had left 10 minutes later, I literally would have run into them in the hallway. And then then your mind goes to, you know what? They were looking for people to lynch. Right. But that's why they had the gallow up there. And then uh, they killed a cop. And then afterwards, three Capitol Police officers committed suicide just because they were so traumatized. Right. And I view them as that being connected. Sometimes people like to disconnect it. I do not disconnect it. And by the way, over 100 officers were injured and some of them severely injured. Some of them have never been able to come back to work.